right? Sometimes, at some point, it comes down to something simple, right? Um, you gotta be a leader, right? It's time to be a leader. You gotta make some shots. We're not shooting the ball well. We gotta get it fixed. It's my responsibility to get it fixed. Um, we talked about how you guys weren't making shots after the last game, and you kind of said that sometimes you just kind of have to let it figure itself out. Um, after a night like this, does that plan change at all? No, it does not. I gotta make sure that we get clean looks. I gotta get our players better looks. We gotta get into better sets. You know, we gotta get better, better motion in our offense. We have good players. We have good, good shooters. It's my responsibility as a head coach's team and to figure it out and, and help them get easier shots and, and, to, and to play better. So I can't give them this, this responsibility. It's my responsibility to get our team to play harder and to play better and to do the things that we need to do. You know, when you're in a game and the team shoot, was shooting 70 percent and we down by eight points, you know, we down by 38 at that point. And if they shoot 70 percent, we're shooting like 20 percent. So that's that's just small things that they got to change, and that's my responsibility. I guess from a shooting standpoint, how does Miranda's absence, absence kind of impact that? Obviously, it hurts a lot. You know, they, they, they zoned us the entire game. We had some looks in the slots that we normally on would, on would get because they had to close out hard on the, on, on the shooters. So obviously, when you take one of your best shooters off the floor, you know, due to, due to injury, it's, it's going to hurt you. But that's, but, that's, but that's no excuse. You know, we, we talk about having, having a deep basketball team. We had opportunities for some, for some, for some players to step up and make plays. Tonight, they didn't, they didn't get it done. but. Again, it's my responsibility to get them in the positions to make the plays. I thought second like half, we started getting into some five ball motion, started getting some cutting action, and we got it down to ball. I guess it was maybe two points, but we got to turn the corner and make some plays. Cotty passed up a few open threes. Like, is that a shot she's not ready to make? No, this is that's a shot that she has to take. And it's my responsibility to get her confidence to shoot the ball. And she's just, Cotty is a, is, a, is a great player. You know, she, she's been out for almost two months, and she's been, she's played a total of like you know, 11 minutes. And, in two months. So she'll get back into the flow and, and she'll make shots and she'll be aggressive. Not not concerned about that. What do you think you were coming up short and getting them to not get the right shots or I mean where do you think it could be better? Well well it's it's, it's about movement, you know. It's about movement, it's about you know getting our getting our personnel in the in the right spots on the floor, getting our personnel in the spots on the floor to where they're confident to take the shots. And when you're swinging the ball to a to a player and, and they're not pulling the trigger. That's, that's all about confidence, and it's my job as a, as a head coach to make sure they have proper confidence to compete at a high level. What was the struggle with defending their bigs today? It seemed like I ever really couldn't stay in front of them. Right, well, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was more their guards, too, you know, but, but you, but you got to understand, too, you know, you, when, you, when you're in foul trouble like that, it's, it, it's, tough to, it's tough to be aggressive. You know, they're, 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 they're getting the ball in the paint, and they're getting deep post position. we got to move our feet and get around and get in, and get in front, of, front of the post players. So, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a foot fight, it's not a fist fight. We try to turn it into a fist fight, and we got called for foul. We got to move our feet and get around in front of the post. I think in the third quarter, uh, Maeva made, made a layup, and you kind of pointed to her and told her to get into the paint. Were you directing her to just like get back on defense? Stand That's it. Yeah, to get back in and get out and get out of defense set. And I thought that you know we, we did a decent job of getting back in and really getting, getting, getting into the paint and, and really trying to get our feet in the paint and let their paint touch, whether it was penetration, offensive rebounds, or, or, or punches in the post. But, you know, when you look at the stat sheet, and um, you shot 77 shot times and they shot 51 times, you know, you got to win that game. We got 26 more shots in that game. Coach, at number 13 coming into this game, you guys have two back-to-back -back losses, but you've been had such a strong start to your season. Is this something that you need to go back in the game film and sit with the team and say, is there, is there confidence you need to get going at, from this point on, or is this something that you just put behind and move forward to the next game? No, 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 we have, we have, we have to evaluate what's going on. That's, that's, that's part of the deal, you know. But at the, at the end of the day, I, I, I think that, you know, we, we sometimes forget it was 15 and 4. You know, and we just played a ranked team. We had one loss to a non ranked team on the road. So these are the moments that I know. That I feel good because everybody's been here like, what's wrong? And it's fantastic because 11 years ago, when nobody saying what's wrong, when we were like 7 and 12, it was almost like we were going to have a parade down every boulevard, you know? This is fantastic. We played Georgia Tech last, last game, and they're celebrating and they're jumping and they're chest bumping on, on the fourth game of, this, of the conference. That's big. Played at Drexel. A couple weeks ago, they stormed the floor. I've never been involved in a storm. You know, somebody just stormed the floor. I stayed up there. I wanted to run me over. 
Can't face that. That's a big difference than where we were. We're gonna be all right, don't worry. Everybody get their tickets, everybody get your, get all everything for March. We'll be going to the tournament. So get ready. We're gonna be good. Don't worry. We get some free trips, don't worry. <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Can you update us on Miranda, how long she might be out for, when was the decision that as you've been practicing, what was the decision made? Miranda was a Miranda's thing was a was just a freak accident. We were we were in a in a drill and she and she jumped and a player jumped with it and kicked her in the calf. I mean it was just like a freak thing in a drill. It was a it was a it was a, it was a shooting drill. It was just a freak accident. So so it's, so it's nothing that's 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 gonna keep her off for a long period of time. Um, it just happened last night, pretty pretty much. So now, out the next day, you're gonna be really really sore and really sore because I kicking your calf. So that was really just a more of a more of a bruise. It's not anything really serious. So so um, I'm a, I'm expecting her to be back for the for the next game unless something happens with it, which she which she which she aggravates it. Emily played really well in the first half, but didn't really play much in the second. Was there a reason for that? Like, yeah, I want to run for. Same deal. Say right now, Emily's when Emily can get in into the possessions, she's a good player. I need Emily to run for. She seemed tired. Was that any reason behind that, or? I'm not sure, man. That's <laughs> been part of fatigue level. Man. We shouldn't be tired. We've been wrestling like crazy, man. And uh, you know, we, we all, we've always had a bunch of games in a row, but but we've had ample rest. So at some point, we gotta we gotta put that one away, right? And go play. Another big foul shot discrepancy, free throws. Uh, you addressed a little bit the, the inside game. Again, where where does that go? Is that is that just more of the same as far as you know finding your ground, uh, finding your footing inside there? Um, you know what's you know what's odd about this? What? Is that there's a big foul shot discrepancy. We had thirty eight points in the paint. They had thirty. It's odd. One more question. When, when you're dealing with this kind of adversity, is is there an odd <laughs> uh, right? Ah, <laughs> when, when you're dealing with this kind of adversity, is there an individual you look to to, to be able to be the leader out there on the floor? Me. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, Coach.